and will force the res to come through. Axa, though, suffering as, oh dear, the abrupt slayers are chiming in, and Kanina Power having a nightmare of a time. Again, though, Loops still in this one with Carrillo all the way on this northwest edge. He is surrounded by abrupt slayer players. You can see down there, though, Kanina Power still holding strong. A couple of knocks on their side, but they can get away with this one. What's this, though? It's Swaggin, who will go down, sadly, to Heaven outside the blue. But that's a top five finish. Did not expect that. Alpha 7 get eliminated, and I think in the meantime, Loops went down. Yeah, there you go. Loops went down, our second place team right now on the week are getting eliminated. So three teams now left standing. Kanina Power, they've managed to keep all four alive, which means they are the only team with four left in it. Abrupt Slayers, though, they've been popping off this game. We'll see if they're able to continue to do so as everyone has to push a little bit more central. I do have some question marks in terms of utility for Kanina Power. They were in one singular location for such a long time. I really wonder how many bodies are able to loot there or how many people actually came up towards them, but they're not looking too bad. It's level two vest, level two helmets, which is slightly worrying, but all four members back up again. Canada Power have been fast on the recovery. Ooh, they managed to get a knock as well on towards Abrupt Slayers, bringing them down to two standing. Nades coming through, forcing them up to the ridge line. The circle shrinking, and it seems like throughout all of this, it's really Power Triple Eight who have managed to get the best position into the circle. However, Canada Power have a ridge line right on the edge. Oh, Triple A, again, we mentioned this right at the beginning of the game, John, where he said that having three players versus that four makes things so difficult. You can't aggressively take as many angles. And now Abrupt Slayers moving in towards Power Triple A. Kanina Power can take advantage of the situation as they move in here. Abruptini getting a knock there, looking for a confirm as well. So only one player now standing for Power Triple A as Kanina Power looking to swarm. However, the Abrupt Slayers are just over the hill as well, so it's a tricky standoff that they've got to negotiate. Only one player standing, as I said. Four power triple eight, the kills start to get confirmed. Kanina power racking them up, lining them up and knocking them down for now. Abrupt Slayers smoke up their push to make it to that ridge line, giving away their position a little bit, but they will be in the sun. Black White sending shots through. Talk about negotiations, and there begins the trades between the teams. Three teams still standing, but players dropping like flies. Only one remains. All of the rest confirmed. The res coming through for Kanina Power after they took a knock earlier. A peak was not punished there for the abrupt slayers around the edge of the smoke. You can see the terrain causing this no man's land right in the middle between these two squads. We'll see how long Power Triple A can last as well. Circle shifts away from Kanina Power once again. Do they have any gallop left in them? They've been moving so far from the south side of that circle towards Zone 5, Zone 6. They've been fighting off against everyone. Being able to hold on to all four players as well shows some serious skill from this team. And this is what we wanted to see from the EMEA League. But they just fell off in the finals. But feels like now they're returning to form. Starting to break out there. A nice nade to get an initial knock onto Chari. From the abrupt slayers and now Gonzo cresting the ridge bold, leading the charge. Will go down for his trouble though. The rest of the team now flood over the top as Robdini will be able to take it down from the side. Axe are the only knock and now it's one versus four. Only a limited time left and it is Kanina Power to take it down. A 26 point game. <laughs>